Welcome to Rob Schmidt tonight. Happy Friday to you. And President Biden is currently on the first leg of a five day Euro trip, a trip that will take him from an audience with Pope Francis to meetings with a group of 20 world leaders. Biden began his trip in Rome and at the Vatican meeting with the Pope. Reporters traveling with Biden understandably upset after the Vatican unexpectedly canceled a live broadcast of their meeting earlier in the week which we're trying to figure out why that happened. A White House official described the meeting as very warm, and from what we have seen, it was. Before leaving the Vatican, Biden, though, had a very strange conversation. A very strange conversation, and he's no stranger to strange conversations, let's be honest. Making a joke about uh, the ages of himself and the Pope, Biden bringing up a random story about African-American baseball player Satchel Paige. Because remember, in this White House, everything has got to be about race. And take a listen. He was a famous African-American baseball player in America. I know. Americano, Afro-Americano. And he didn't get to play in the Major League Baseball until he was 45 years old because he was black. The community said, said, Satch, no one's ever pitched a win at age 47. How do you feel about pitching a win on your birthday? I look at it this way. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you were? How hard did that White House sit and dream up? Okay, what can we think of that he can say to the Pope that presses the race button because that's what we do? Oh, we could tell the Satchel Page story and make a joke about how they're both old. Perfect. Later in the day, Biden was asked after he left, if the issue of abortion came up when he was with the Pope. Because, you know, it's a little bit weird to be a Catholic fighting day and night to protect full-term abortion. Somewhat bizarre. The description of how all that played out might surprise you. Take a look. Mr. President, did the issue of abortion come up at all? No, it didn't. It came up when this talked about the fact that we were having that was a good Catholic and keep the he said that you should keep receiving communion. Yeah. Oh, he's lucky Pope Francis is a left winger. He gets away with it because these days, apparently, politics even trumps God. Remember, Biden doesn't just fight to protect abortion up until birth in America. He and his party fight hard to send your money all over the world to provide abortions. It is a mission to electively kill unborn babies. It is central to the Democrat platform. The question is, who gets rejected from communion these days? That's a better question. But of course, you know, their politics align, so the Pope is all in on Joe Biden. <laughs> Biden also met with the French President Emmanuel Macron today, which was a bit awkward uh, after the U.S. made uh, that deal with Australia that destroyed the massive French submarine contract. Biden essentially admitted it was not his finest moment. What happened uh, was, to use an English phrase, what we did was clumsy. It was not done with a lot of grace. I was under the impression certain things had happened that hadn't happened. And, uh, but uh, I want to make it clear, France is an extremely, extremely valued party. Everybody's all hunky-dory now. Biden will end his trip at the United Nations Climate Summit in Glasgow, fighting climate change, of course, is this administration's obsession. And yet almost every single day, they give us a great reason to make fun of them, whether it's China rapidly ramping up coal production or climate czar John Kerry constantly flying private or an obscene motorcade, perhaps. And when I say obscene, I do mean obscene. Look at this. Biden toured Rome <laughs> with an 85 vehicle motorcade. I, it's like a competition. How much gas can we burn today? They pondered days before they go to a climate summit. Let's see if we can do 85 friggin' cars. That's a lot of gas. Who on earth needs that big of a motorcade in Rome? This isn't Juarez or Kabul. You're going to the Vatican. Relax. 85 cars. Just think about that number of cars. It's so good. How much emissions are burning from 85 cars going 12 miles an hour down the streets of Italy, by the way? I mean, you could probably see the exhaust plume from Sicily. 
AOC probably needs to amend her timeline after today. We now have 11 years until the world ends. It's not 12 anymore. Now, the president wanted to head off to Europe with a deal in place for his infrastructure bill and also the Build Back Better human infrastructure massive plan as well, the spending plan. But all that remains in doubt tonight as the standoff between the progressives and moderate Democrats has not yet been resolved. And it's probably a good idea uh, to watch our wallet a little bit. We may be headed for an economic downturn. Here is progressive leader Pramila Jalapal with the bad news for Democrats and the Biden agenda as the deal did not get done before he left for Rome. There are there are too many members for the for the BIF to pass, uh, too many no votes for the BIF to pass today. However, we are committed to staying here until we get this Build Back Better Act done, get the legislative tax. So they still got to work. This ain't a done deal. And that's great news for our side. Despite the bill being cut in half, it is still a horrifying waste of money that we don't have. Uh, if they get it done, including more than a half a trillion dollars in climate funds, which is essentially a waste. And it's an excuse to do something that would exacerbate our problems even further, and that is raise taxes right now, because a troubled, a major indicator, I should say, of troubled waters can be treasury bonds. And from CNBC, this popped up today, the 20-year yield is now higher than the 30-year yield, an unusual occurrence in the bond market. So in other words, and I know most of us don't pay a lot of attention to this stuff, but if you invest in U.S. Treasury bonds, the return right now is better on the 20-year than on the 30-year, which makes no sense because logically, the longer you give your money away, the more you should get in return. And in the past, what we're seeing right now has signaled a coming recession. We're not saying it's going to this time, but it could. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.